We're seeing a, um, a huge amount of, of change in the market. Um, we're seeing a lot more video being consumed. Um, and, and part of that, we're, we're making our content more available on, on different platforms. So, for example, Orty Player, which is three years old, went on to mobile um, before Christmas. We launched a, an iPad and an iPhone version, and we have just under 400,000 downloads of it. Um, we're seeing you know, a huge amount of usage on that. What's quite interesting from a trend perspective is the programs that are being watched on Player on, let's say, iPhone and iPod are actually quite different to the programs that are being watched on iPad. So the top 10 programs on the phones and on PlayStation are actually all comedy, or she too comedy. So that's resonating with obviously, you know, quite a young audience, um, which is fantastic. Uh, on iPad, it tends to be older, slightly more sophisticated uh, in terms of what they're watching. It's very much news and drama. So we're, f we're finding that audiences, if you like, they're finding the content of their choice on the device of their choice. So what we're learning from that is make it, you know, try and make it available um, and make sure that we say, for example, that we really do have a good pipeline of comedy to have available on mobile because we know that an audience will pick that up. Um, also, interestingly enough, our mobile consumption has, you know, it's been growing dramatically for the last, say, two years, but we now are at almost 60% of all of our content um, made available online is being consumed on mobile, which is very significant. Um, that compares to the BBC at about 25 and The Guardian at 27. Um, but obviously the Irish market is very mobile, so you know, that's a pretty phenomenal um, statistic. How Witchy Digital came about was that we had um, been incubating online and new media products and services probably for, well, over 10 years. And they had got to a stage where they're actually becoming more mainstream with regard to the um, size of audience that they were reaching and also um, with regard to the commercial potential. So it became time for OTE to become more digital as opposed to digital to get bigger, if, if you understand what I mean. And by that, we wanted to find a way to integrate digital activity and content creation throughout OTE. And in doing so, we took the content creation and the editorial out of what was a separate department or division and we moved it into news, sport and entertainment in TV. So the whole objective there is that you start to engage a much larger group of creative editorial program makers and actually get them to start creating content for digital platforms. And that's not something that you could ever afford to do if you were only looking at the digital output. So the idea is that a program maker, let's say in entertainment, actually starts to incorporate the whole digital strategy into the concept of the program and the actual commissioning and creation of the program. So you get, in a way, you actually get much more value for money and you are engaging the consumer from the get-go as opposed to Here's a TV program. Now let's start creating, in, you know, interactive or digital bits around it. That's not effective, um, and that's the way traditionally actually it has been done. So we're hoping to see a lot more interesting content. We're ho hoping to see richer content, and we're hoping to really, you know, be able to engage our viewer and our consumer um, in a in a much more meaningful way. Technology has allowed us to actually make content available and to, to a degree, deliver services anywhere we want. So, for example, I think it's been a fantastic enabler for us from an international perspective. So we've been able to reach an international audience that through broadcast would have been, um, not, would have been uneconomic. Um, so we have, for example, a quarter of our users are overseas and we're delivering content, text, audio and video to that audience. Again, an audience we wouldn't have been able to reach without technology. I think technology has made things slightly difficult in that 
you know, there's so much of it and things are moving so quickly that it's a challenge. So there's no status quo in what we do. It's, you know, we're constantly looking at development, we're constantly looking at redevelopment, and we're looking at um, trying to be, you know, make our services fit for purpose. The most important asset we all have is that we have digital distribution, which means that we can make content available around the world um, very easily. And I think that you know individuals and, and creative people out there, organisations, probably have a better shot now at getting seen and heard than they had before. You, do, you don't have to be in London or in Hollywood or in New York to get exposure. Um, and I think that's a real opportunity. It's part of our strategy to, to be here to support the development of Ireland's digital leadership. And that is both in terms of technology and in terms of creativity. So, you know, we would like to um, be open for business to work with more domestic companies, organisations, be they designers or content creators. So that's something that we really, really want to do. We also, you know, in a part of our business strategy is to create, to increase the whole area of paid content, both domestically and overseas. So um, we can do that much more easily through digital means than the traditional merchandising and DVDs, for example. You can make more content available. Again, it's a much more economic um, model and you know we see if we can build that business up that we can be a pipeline for the Irish creative industries to also you know sell their products so that's a big opportunity we believe you know we talk about how 57 percent of our traffic is through mobile realistically you know it's not just good enough to have broadband in the home we need to have Wi-Fi and we need it to be available for free um, that's absolutely key and we need quality so in order you know you don't want to have to you know use let's say for example use OT player on the bus and it for it to have cost you 10 euros um, we want our we want our content available anywhere everywhere and that means access and it means very cost-effective access for the end user so I am you know that that is, is of, of huge importance for us